once you begin to see how this earth really operates and what's actually going on and who's been doing it and who's been at the helm of this for thousands of years, even before America was founded. It's just a very frightening picture when you finally wake up to find out that the human race is being led down a dark alley for a long time, and now it's finally getting to the point with our technology that we are collapsing like the Roman Empire. But the problem is we're taking the whole damn world with us. And the people uh, are not able to do anything. The people are powerless. They all know something's wrong, but nobody can do anything about it. I mean, you can cry and, and complain, but you can't do anything with it. And the reason why is because knowledge is power. And I've been saying this for some 50 years. Unless you have knowledge about how a thing actually works, then you're not going to be able to do anything to help it or fix it. And so that's where we are today. We are now, as a human family on the earth, being led by criminals, by mentally disordered, dysfunctional, uh, mentally deranged criminals. We call them, uh, we call that government, we call them uh, clergy, we call them popes and clergymen and priests and, uh, and, and law enforcement and banking. No, it's a criminal empire. And this is why I think that, there are, that the scriptures that we call the Christian scriptures in the Bible uh, have some validity to it. When we read things in the scriptures that say things like uh, the whole world is lying in the power of the wicked one, the implications of the, of the, of the, of the term is that the entire earth is involved in something very dark, and it's evil. Well, my God, you don't have to be an astronaut to figure that out today. Every country in the world is now locked into violence, revolutions, bloodshed, money, corruption. Uh, it's, it's, uh, and, of course, the religions of the world, both Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, have uh, have never had a mind. I would not say they've lost their mind. They never had a mind. Uh, the the whole idea of child sex and child porn, and and violence and revolutions and and, and all the dirty, filthy stuff that goes on behind the scenes and the underbelly of criminality in the world. That's today we call that religion, and government, and business. So eventually, people are going to finally wake up and discover that our world that we're living in is fastly now beginning to now literally fall apart. And something very bad is coming on this earth. I don't care what you, uh, how you figure it, it's something is coming. And somebody is in charge of this darkness. <clears throat> and uh, somebody's causing these things to happen. And again, I sing, I'm saying this because I am totally convinced after, after looking at it and talking to all the kind of people I have over the years and examining this subject, I'm totally sure that I'm absolutely right that we humans on the earth are being led by some dark, other world, <clears throat> not supernatural, but preta natural. Preta natural means not of this world. Some other kind of intelligence is already here, most likely has been here for millions of years, uh, right among us, and they manipulate us, they lead us, they give us our religions, they give us our religious beliefs, they give us our political concepts, they have, a, they have put together our our economic order in the world, somebody very evil has running, has been running for God knows how long, been running a very evil, bloodthirsty world. I'm ashamed to even be a part of this mess right now, but I see it better because at 76 years old, I've been around the world many times. I know what I'm talking about. I couldn't care less who I'm unoffending. It doesn't matter who I offend. 
The truth is the human race is in trouble, and it's going to get a hell of a lot worse real soon. You have no idea in the world what's really coming very soon. It's going to be a catastrophe because you've got too many millions and millions of people who collectively have got an IQ of 70 that have no idea in the world what to do or how to do anything. You have to feed them. All they know how to do is reproduce and bring in more babies and more babies, and those babies have babies and more babies until you've got seven and a half billion people collectively <clears throat> with an IQ of 70, and uh, the entire world is falling apart. Crime, criminal syndicates, organized crime, government syndicates, banking. I think you're finally getting the point. The human race is in trouble. And that brings me back to my original uh, idea that I wanted to talk about, this whole idea that the world is being ruled by an, a preternatural uh, powers on this earth, something which is not human, is guiding us and driving us into uh, insanity. And um, when people like David Icke talk about uh, reptilian aliens, well, there's a hell of a lot of, of documentation uh, in religions and governments and all kinds of institutions that have uh, got a lot of information on that one subject. 